Hey there, uh, tonight I thought we'd do another video on my Singer 111W101 and tonight we're going to show you how to set the stitch length. It's a little bit different than the later machines. A lot of the videos and information I found out there was for the uh, 151 or the 153 and on those there's a button right here you press and then you turn this wheel. On this one there's actually a knob on the end of the wheel here which is kind of also a problem because when I put my servo motor in, I purposely didn't order a synchronizer with it because that would mount right here and I'd have to take it on and off in order to change my stitch length and I didn't want to hassle with that so I saved myself 20 bucks and did without. So let me get the camera moved and I'll show you that knob right now. Alright so here's the knob and this notch moves with the wheel here so you'll have to turn that where you can see it and here are the numbers. It's a little kind of difficult to read because this is actually set right now for six stitches per inch. I think it can go as low as five, but at least in the manual it says it can go as low as five, but I can't see where there's a five on here. So it either wore off or it's just not there. And then you can turn it all the way up to 32 stitches per inch which is really tight and for the thread I use and the size of needles I use the holes are almost touching so I haven't I haven't done much of that other than a little bit of testing so let me get the camera moved again and I'll show you what that looks like when you're actually sewing alright so I have it set at six stitches per inch and I have an old piece of denim here to try this out on so there we go So that's more or less what that looks like at six inches per inch. So now I'll go all the way up to 32 and we'll see what that looks like. All right, now we're gonna try it at 32 stitches per inch. Which I think I just got it stuck. It might be a little too tight for this thread, so uh, let me get this unstuck and we'll try a shorter stitch length. Alright, so now that I've got the uh, machine cleared out here, we're going to try it at 12 stitches per inch to see if that works a little better. This thicker thread I don't think is cooperating with these smaller stitch lengths, plus I think I might need a little bit bigger needle. Um, just a quick story on the thread, I actually got that from the same lady I got the uh, machine and everything else from she was cleaning out some more stuff at that shop and so I picked up uh, like five or six rolls like 5,500 yard rolls for 20 bucks so it's one of those things where it's not what you know it's who you know and that's working out pretty good for me there we go It also might have something to do with my thread tension because I've had some s trouble getting the thread tension just right on this. As you can sort of see here, it's not too bad on the back side, but on the top it looks like it's a little loose. Or, yeah, a little loose. So, I'll have to play around with that, but you can see the difference. There's. six stitches per inch and there's 12 stitches per inch. Most of the things I've been doing I've been using five or six just because they've been heavier projects but it is kind of nice to be able to switch back and forth. If you found this video helpful or informative please like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.